beginning to deal with the topic that is types of merger students basically we are going to focus on the four types of merger in depth in the further video so let's get started and if you're watching my video first time do it the subscribe button comment down and doubts or queries you have regarding this topic or any topic you want me to discuss in the further video this is my introduction this is shalini katwani i'm an mb in the field of finance and marketing from shishankra chara group of institution belight chatisgarh previously was working with the kalinga university as an assistant professor in and management commerce department location in anandpur chatisgarh and currently preparing for ugc net management so students before dealing with the types of merger we should know what is merger okay mergers are the predominant part of the company's life cycle okay at a certain period of time company does mergers or acquisition mergers when two different entity combine with each other to form one single entity let's take an example this is a company plus b company okay and they merge together to form a new company that's ab limited that's term as merger why mergers are formed what is the reason behind merger to increase the profit or profitability to increase the market share to reduce the competition reduce the competition as well as to increase the investors wealth so let's start with the meaning of merger students let's focus on the introductory part of merger merger is a combination of two companies two different companies combined together to form merger and mergers are basically more friendly it's not like takeover or hostile as com as compared to acquisition merger usually involves combining two companies to form a single larger company what happens if two companies are merging with each other what will happen they will of course they will be leading the market there is a high increase in the market share high increase in the profitability okay it involves transfer of ownership by merging okay by mergers there is a transfer of ownership either through stock deal or cash payment now let's focus on the four types of merger see there are basically four types of merger horizontal horizontal a merger between companies that are in direct competition okay let's for example let's take idea vodafone let's take fms in fmcg itc and nestle okay so horizontal merger refers to the merging of two entities who are the competitor who belong to same market dealing with the same product okay vertical merger a merger between companies that are along with the supply chain okay see for example a company merges see that's let's take an example a retail company in an auto parts industry merges with a company that supplies the raw material for auto parts that's vertical vertical merger see a company merging with a company who supplies the basic raw material for the product that company is manufacturing that's term as vertical merger now conglomerate merger a merger between companies who are totally unrelated for example a clothing company merges with a software company or fmcg company merges with the service industry so that's term as conglomerate merger one second we'll going to con uh, focus on concentrating in further slides this is the introductory of horizontal same line business they are dealing with the same line business vertical merger merger with raw material supplier conglomerate merger with unrelated company and now concentrating industry but see same industry but different product the industry is same but they are dealing with the different products so that's concentrating merger horizontal merger let's focus on the horizontal mergers meaning students one thing is i mentioned here students competition they are competitors okay two companies who are merging with each other they are competitor they belong to same market same industry same product okay now continue with the meaning horizontal mergers are form of business combination in which two companies minimum two companies are required within the same industry they belong to same industry same business sector and they form a big large company in that industry they are directing competing with each other they are directly competing with each other okay see a, a very very best example of horizontal merger let's take a famous example of horizontal merger was that between hp okay havlet packwood and compaq in 2009 
see many mergers are successful many mergers are unsuccessful it depends how the companies are running smoothly how they are acquiring the market see and they, they merge together and they they value the market value was around us dollar 87 billion now let's continue horizontal merger is a merger of the company producing same product okay similar product with the aim of becoming bigger players see this is a company and this is b company they were earlier rivals they were competing with each other but after merging what will happen they will be a bigger player in the market as well as they will be high, having a high market share so that reduces the competition entering into a new market or staying in the existing market and achieving see if a company wants to enter a new market or if they want to uh, survive for the longer period of time or achieve high growth by achieving vision vision so there uh, is a need of mergers horizontal mergers are common in industry with a fewer firm as competition tend to be higher and synergies and potential gain in the market share are much greater because if there are less industries there is high competition there is high competition there is a high chances of competing with each other and to make a more promotional strategy so to reduce the competition horizontal mergers takes place where there are less firms okay now vertical merger let's focus on a vertical merger let me give you a briefing regarding vertical merger a vertical merger is a merger between company operate with the same supply chain a vertical merger is a combination of companies along the production and distribution see what happens one company let's take this company a company is dealing with the production and b company is dealing with the supplying or distribution supplying of raw material if they merge with each other that's term as vertical merger and this is one of the most important type of mergers to uh, enhance the productivity to run smooth production process because if the company if you, if you have a merger with the company who is supplying the raw material so production process will be sm smooth there will be no hindrance in the production process ultimately there will be market demand there will be sub sale proper sale proper profit ultimately company will be able to achieve the vision mission okay see a vertical merger is a merger between companies that operate the same supply chain a vertical Vertical merger is a combination of company along the production and distribution process of business. Okay, the rationale behind a vertical merger includes the high quality. See what happens if they are merging with the company who is supplying raw material. So what will happen? They will be having a quality product. There will be better flow of information along the supply chain. Okay, and there will be, of course, if the quality is good, ultimately you will be satisfying the customer or consumer, profitability will be increased and ultimately company will be able to achieve the vision vision. See, let's take an example, eBay merges with Payball, car manufacturing company merges with the tire company, that's term as vertical merger. Let's focus on the meaning of vertical merger students. Vertical merger is a merger of two or more companies that provide different supply chain function for a common goods or service. Vertical merger helps business control the earlier stages of supply chain before the production supplying of raw material. That is control if they if the company is merged with the company of supplying raw material, okay? Such a supplier that provide raw material to the manufacturer. It provides a strategic tool for company to grow the, their business and acquire more control over the steps supporting the supply chain. Many a time companies are facing the problem of production or facing the problem of marketing or declining the sale of the product or entering in the saturation market because they don't have a merger with the uh, raw material supplying company. Because raw material supplying company ultimately they are the raw materials a basic component for final finished product if you don't have a quality uh, uh, raw material if you don't have a quantity raw material ultimately that will hinder the production process so this type of mergers are very very important to smoothen the production process let's take an example students a textile company merging with a cotton yarn okay they are dealing with the cloth and they are Having a merger with the raw material that's required for the production process, cotton yarn manufacturer is an example of vertical. Okay, it helps the textile company have control over its raw material, cotton yarn, because they they are ultimately analyzing the they are ultimately analyzing the basically what is the quality of raw material they are dealing. Okay, they will be having a quantity raw material, quality raw material, and that will smoothen the production process and that will enhance the productivity and profitability steel is one of the most important component in a car manufacturing okay steel is the most important raw material for a car manufacturing company in automobile if an automobile company merges with a steel manufacturer uh, steel manufacturer company 
so that term is vertical merger this is the second most example now conglomerate merger conglomerate merger is a merger between firms that are involved in totally unrelated business see let's take an example one clothing company and one FMCG company, if they merge with each other, that's conglomerate. They are totally unrelated. They are not connected with each other. Whereas in horizontal merger, the merging of two companies, they are in direct competition. They are dealing with the same product, same industry. Okay, this merger typically occurs between firm within different industry. Different industry merges with each other. For example, let's take service industry merges with the chemical industry. Let's take steel industry merges with the petroleum industry. So that's term as conglomerate. They are in different location they are in the different industry okay conglomerate merger generally occurs between companies operating in different industry different category different geographical location i have given the example also okay let's let me give you one more example of this conglomerate merger the merger between walt disney And the American Broadcasting Company, that was termed as a merger which was conglomerate merger. Okay, there are two types of conglomerate merger, student. There is pure, which I'm going to explain you in the next PPT because it's not possible to continue with that. Pure and mixed. Okay, two types of conglomerate types of mergers are there. Now, concentrated. Concentrated merger is a type of merger where two companies are in the same. Or unrelated. It may be same or it may be unrelated or market, but do not have the same product. They don't offer same product, but they may be from same industry or it may be of uh, I would say related industry, but the product industry is same. Industry is same, but the product they are dealing is totally different. For example, let's take I would say FMCG company. FMCG company they are dealing with the soap but one company merges with soap and another company is of for example let's take biscuit both are FMCG but I would say the product are totally different they are belonging from the same industry but the product is different in a concentrated merger the companies may share similar distribution channel providing synergy for the merger and if you like my video, do like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.